And now, somewhere deep in the faraway lands of Massachusetts, we proudly present to you, Jimmy. <clears throat> the things I'm going to have for supper tonight. <laughs> oh, hi there. I was just about to have a seat and enjoy me a nice bowl of Kraft macaroni and cheese. Authentic, isn't it? This uh, stuff's getting kind of old, isn't it? It's not even Kraft macaroni and cheese. It's Bezler. I'm Jimmy. I was looking forward to buying myself an authentic conductor's costume from Party City. But it turns out I don't have that much money to buy it. Thank you, younger, more sillier version of me. So in the meantime, I guess this costume will do for now. It's uh, on point. <laughs> anyway, you might know my equally charming yet younger cousin, Mr. Conductor. He didn't even bring George Carlin with him. I didn't even know he was Alec Baldwin. Why that tricky no good? Sorry about that. My doctor once told me that with a ton of time and a lot of breathing exercises, I can move on from this. Whoa, ooh, three bells. Well, we all know what three bells mean. Raining gumdrops, yay! Oh, no, no, you little gremlin. <laughs> No! Bruh, it's time to read YouTube comments. Right. Our letter today comes from... Name and address withheld. And he writes, Dear Jimmy, How dare you, sir? When are we finally going to see the new engines in these new Tomic and the Railroad Chronicle cartoons? Please do so. Name and address withheld. Well, now that you ask that question... I'm going to tell you all about what happened to Tomic and his friends on that faithful day. Hold on tight, you little monsters. I haven't got all day! Hello, this is the head manager of the railroad speaking. Hmm, you don't say. Wait, what's that? Some business at the Fall River Railroad's been going through a huge bump? So I must get some new diesel and steam engines here? Well, I still have the old ones like Tomic, Pierre, Jackson, and the others. Well, could I at least keep the old and the new engines at the same time? Wait, really? Oh, thank you, thank you very much. You don't know how much that means to me. Well, if only I could purchase them at least. Later, Tomek gathered the other engines at the sheds for a meeting. Now, <clears throat> I suppose you're wondering why I've brought you here today. Yeah, likely. Well, it turns out that the boss is scrambling around for some new and exciting steam engines to keep this railroad afloat. And I think it's time that we get together and do him a favor. You know, save him from all the stress. Hmm, you may have a point, said Greg. Well, you may be right, Tomek, said Houston. Perhaps only six steam engines aren't enough to keep moving forward during production. Exactly, smiled Tomek. So now I think we should all present the boss a great surprise. If we're going to do so, however, I propose that we split up. Jackson, you go with Houston and Greg. Pierre and Everett, you can come along with me if you'd like. Surely, Tomek. I would like that. Well, all right then. Let's go, everybody. We haven't got all day. And so, keeping up with the continuity doc, overheating is absolute monkey poop, and so is breaking down. Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. He 
Houston? Why did you tell us that you know the way to getting brand new engines if you don't have a global positioning system with you? Oh yeah, is that what I was missing? It's no wonder why we made a wrong turn here. What on earth is the meaning of this? We're on a quest to find new steam engines today. Steam engines? Why would you want anything to do with those steam-powered cigars on wheels? So we can keep business afloat as normal. Quite unanimous, in fact. I mean, it wouldn't make sense if we were just running around Fall River inconsistently. Yeah, we didn't really think through our implications, did we? I think I know where they are. Wait, you do? Yeah, I saw Tomek, Pierre, and Everett doing the same thing that you're doing. Probably when I was at the works, examining my usual diesel fuel poisoning. Well, what are we waiting for, fellas? Off to Somerset! Right, now where was I? Hmm, I guess this is worse than I expected. I guess you have a severe case of... Forget what that was, Idis. How are you even a doctor again? Well, one time my driver quit his job as a window cleaner, and then unexpectedly threw his Windex in the trash can. So, uh, how much for the new engines that we would like to purchase for Fall River? That all depends, mate! Does your drivers have enough money for that? Oh, I wish I would have afforded that much money so I can go buy myself a delicious wazoo bar. Well, Zippy, clearly you should have thought twice before spending that much money on stuff you don't need. Oh. Hi, Atomic. Did you get the new guys yet? Indeed, Jackson. And I assure you that the boss will be quite excited when he sees this. What the? Tomic? Pierre? Guys? Where have y'all been? Well, boss, remember when you said you wanted new engines to keep the railroad up and running? Well... <gasps> Yeehaw! Now that is what I like to call the future of our network. Say, how did you guys manage to purchase these new engines in the first place? Perhaps with the help of all of our drivers and their money, we sure did make an interesting sale, all right. So, uh, do you think the new engines will be appearing in future Inacio cartoons now? Well, uh, hmm. Sure, why not? Well, folks, that's the story of our latest Railroad Chronicle cartoon. And what happened to Jimmy, you may ask? Well, let's not explain any details about him. Well, anyways, <clears throat> thank you for watching today's video, and good night. <laughs>